Barcelona fans, knowing that their side really is a goal machine. But, but defensively, some large spanners in their works with the suspensions of both fullbacks in Daniel Alves and Abidal. Super play. Jesse. This is just a block off next season. Here we go. Oh, and it's a problem for Valdez. What a block. Gerard Piqui. I'm thinking it's definitely him. What a block. Because Valdez has no idea about this. And United pounce on it. And as it comes off his body. Ronaldo. <laughs> and, uh, well, he's last two goals in his... But they haven't started like that. In trouble here. Oh. It really was a chance for a player of his stature, even though it was a son of a former Barcelona goalkeeper who played in a European final against Manchester United in 1991. That's turning point in the whole dynamic of the game. Manchester United have relatively good possession. And it's as soon as they get the ball turns over, and then Barcelona pick it up, and then they pop it around, ping it around so fast, head it there, and it goes bang, and here we go, this is a change of place that they do. Bop, bop, off he goes, Iniesta. Here, look at this is too easy, Graham, isn't it? Did in 1991, that was the cup winner's cup. This is Iniesta, though. Oh, Eto's opened it up! <laughs> well, how about that for smashing grab? It's been all Manchester United, but after nine minutes, Samuel Eto crowns the first real attack. Wow. Don't you just love this game, though? They've absolutely been all over them for nine minutes of this match, Manchester United. On the front foot. And I just... Andy, the type of holes that Barcelona found on the goal and are now looking to exploit again were the uh, avenues that Chelsea blocked off mm. so well with the discipline of their midfield for... Well, the best part of three hours in the semi. Well, you watch the difference now, what that goal's at to Barcelona. You watch every play. Certainly have made a better fist of defending in the penalty area. Messi. Picked off by uh, Busquets uh, to do just that. Henri. Had a very good season. And wanted an early ball there to uh, maybe show off his paces. He's got 26 goals, but he's only the third highest scorer. Yeah. <laughs> Messi with 37, Eto's just got his 35th. Pique. So Vino wants to be the out ball here. Here he is. Lovely football. Just picking off United. Ronaldo, as they try to put together a counter-attack here, and Ronaldo, referee absolutely on the spot. They'll book him. Here goes Ryan Giggs, can't quite keep it down. Only two of uh, Zetos made the brightest start of all the attackers. Messi! Yeah. Puyol. Look in Henri's direction here. Boucher trying to keep an eye on him and on the man on the ball is uh, Iniesta. 50th Champions League game for him tonight. He's already made a contribution. His uh, through ball through Manchester United's defending. Messi popping up off to Busquets who picked up an injury in training last night but obviously one to cause a lasting concern. Chavi. Busquets. Now Silvino. Messi. Chavi. Back from Iniesta. Henri. He's getting away from O'Shea for a moment. Knocked out by Silvino. Iniesta there again. Messi, when you give the ball to Barcelona, it can be a long time getting it back. Well, I think they would know that. This is not a surprise to United. 
Right ball by uh, Piquet. Javi looking for Messi, just drifted behind Ferdinand, but Ferdinand got the ball. Iniesta. There he is again. He's bumped to Barcelona, slip into gear, keep possession. All right, nicely done. Xavi not to under any pressure. He's uh, still going. And you've had it again. The culprit here, just hanging out a leg there. Played a lot of football in his more recent years as a central defender. He certainly started as a as a right back. Silvino. Has gone through the middle this time. Iniesta, keep it at short order again. Xavi, Eto, well, one bit sharply. Barcelona then score. And threatened to do so again. Messi, oh, putting a bit of good pressure on uh, Silvino. Barcelona keeping the ball, although O'Shea was into the back of Henri. Well, that's the one when Giggs isn't back. And yes, I just turned in field. Pushkets was in a big load of space to go and join it. Pushkets just on the move again. The uh, ball transferred to Pique. Iniesta. Watching them train here last night, Andy. They pop the ball around small sided areas, sharpen up their tight control. Also, Manchester United played 3 1 3. Iniesta. Players' availability. Well, we often talk about the ability to pass the ball, but it's the availability of the, the guy on the ball, the options he has at his disposal. This is Toure and Puyol, two of the back four joining in and uh, slide. And getting the ball back to Henri. Toure. And keeping pace with uh, Barcelona's passing rate is not easy. It's the ball through and he's running into a player. A little unlucky if he doesn't get the free kick. There's a problem. See when Messi drops in there, and he's done it on so many occasions now. That's given United the problem. The flea is flitting around the thing, the pest that everyone suggested he would be. Yes, there are a few. Uh, Pests not there, uh, on the pitch, I think they're more moths than the fleas. <laughs> Messi, almost for Henri. Oh, good pressure, really good pressure. Ferdinand, pretty much the same the second time. Eto, well, he just needed a call from Vidic there. There was absolutely no need for Rio to try and head that forward. His second header. It's Messi on the dance. Eto. Followed Raul from their great rivals Real Madrid to score in the two finals in the Champions League era. Just you know, have a partly down to the, the shock of going behind, partly yep. down to the climate as well. Well, it might be, I think the climate is something we'll wait for later. It's Messi. Oh, and uh, Andersar are post, but there was no one coming in anticipating that the goalkeeper might fumble. No, I just like the numbers here. PK. Well, looks like this is another big game where the Manchester United manager needs a big half time talk. Shoot as a decoy to switch it and go further on. That's one of his trademark moves. Manchester United. Looks so there'll be a kind of the half time break and some rehydration. Yeah. But what we're seeing as well from Barcelona is they're not only very good on the ball, man, they're very good off it. They win it back very quickly and as early as they can at times.
Iniesta. Busquets. Vidic uh, really turned away. Ronaldo turned away in frustration that Manchester United, having got the ball, immediately squandered it. Those frustrations need to be uh, channeled properly. Silvino. Iniesta. It's a weaving run. There's a little flicked up balls, and it's a, a prime note on which to end this first half because Barcelona started slow, got better, boosted by the fact that they scored with their first meaningful attack. Well, United have been worked really hard. I, mean, I didn't think they were battered. Maybe in the way the lads did in the studio. So possession says not, pretty close. Other stats show United had twice as many shots on goal as Barcelona. But they worked the ball in good areas, we know that. But Messi. defensively, this is what I've talked about, taking a gamble now, and they might just find a little bit more space. All right. Oh. I guess that's it back to O'Shea, but uh, not in a way where it was too easy to take. That uh, unsung magician Iniesta. Starting this move that's got Henri bearing down on goal. He's got Messi to look for, but he's in. Henri and Badassar, I think it's uh, not too early to say, keeps Manchester United in the final. Now, Lions like United, except one replay in 1974, which uh, was played 48 hours after the Wednesday on a Friday. Michel Platini says we're having Saturday finals from now on. And Eto! What a ball. Carrick can't produce one of his own to try and get parking behind Puyol. Well, I'm imagining the three guys up the studio shaking their heads at that. Well, it was just uh, one goal and on the up, in the lead, and very nearly two up. And they're asking to realise how open Manchester United have made this second half. open it is the more it will suit the talents of Iniesta and Xavi and Messi Eto Puyol making uh, an adventurous move from right back he wanted to go further actually the ball didn't come to him straight away and he got it by Xavi Messi Xavi, a lot of chasing for Manchester United at the moment, Iniesta cutting through. But it's been Andres Iniesta who's been the one who's been a class apart. Not quite on the line, but uh, their hopes may be on the line here. Well, it can't come much closer without actually being 2-0. Really well taken. See the man you've been... Iniesta. Ronaldo, Tevez. And it's Iniesta again, and now Silvino. Henri, just squeeze it. Now, as soon as Barcelona get it, they've dropped off the play. Barcelona's 850th in all European competitions, equaling Real Madrid. And there. Uh, Xavi's gone ahead of the ball, which doesn't always happen. Here's Puyol. Busquets. Back to Piquet. Do you think they might get caught in two minds here, Barcelona, as to whether to sit on this or...? No, I just think they'll play. <laughs> I just think that they get it like now. They'll play, and they'll keep playing, and feel that they'll get a second goal. Well, they could have had it twice in the second half. Van der Sar saving from Henri. Xavi hitting the post with a free kick. Again, loose. Iniesta, Busquets. Here's Xavi. Iniesta roaming free here in Rome. He's playing for the free kick, that's certainly what the referee thought. 
Xavi. Guardiola was uh, calling for a free kick for his team then, but he might be happy that the game's gone on here. Because Ori's looking uh, dangerous from his favoured left position. As I've said, all the time about worrying about feeling sorry for his player, really, he's ready to come on. Here's uh, Eto, Puyol in the middle. Just got to keep that. As she said, they're just looking a leg at that. Just bring it down. It's 2 0. It's Messi. He's scored against an English club now. It's Manchester United at a crucial, crucial time with 20 minutes to go. Well, early in this build up, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo and Patrice Evra. It's uh, not something that happens very often, and Real Madrid did it in the very first final. And Fika did it in 1962. Well, be prepared for a keep ball session now, folks. Well, Scholes is uh, coming on to try and add to the creativity of Manchester United, but Barcelona could be in big again. Ronaldo catches Pope. Well, there's only one end of the ground, noisy. You're absolutely right about that. Ooh, dear, 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 dear. They've been sent off on this ground before Paul Scholes. Is Iniesta. All they could do is knock it down, but can't stand off this little man. And let him bring it down in his chest. Now United at this stage need to be banging on the door, and they're not. Well, you can trace it back to the massive swing that uh, came when Barcelona scored in their first attack, which took ten minutes. After Manchester United, it began with the confidence of uh, being European champions. Might have had a goal, but for one of their ex-players making a brilliant block. Iniesta has made United dance to his tune. Different class, Jamie's favourite player, I'm guessing at the moment, loves him. It's all right, not been missed in the middle of the midfield since that goal was scored. Messi, well, as I said, get prepared for a keep ball session. Here's Keita. Xavi, Eto, brilliant from Barcelona, Puyol, smothered by Van der Sar. The only real vulnerability came when uh, Ronaldo had that run at PK, got blocked off, got booked, and he thought, well, do that again, and they could be quickly down to ten minutes, uh, next or a goal minute, would come. Next minute a goal does come. At the other end. Yeah, and there's a huge momentum swing in this final. It's uh, nine and a half minutes, so we shouldn't get too carried away with it. No. All of them. No. But they've been there, preparing, working. Unless he could get another one here, which would have been... Uh, and Pep Guardiola, he believed in the philosophy that they have. And he felt that his team were brave and went to play. That this would be the result. But for ten minutes it looked anything like that. And after Eto's goal, well, the normal service was resumed. Puyol's been <laughs> looking to get one from him. Here's Xavi. Eto. Barcelona, the new champions of Spain, are the new champions of Europe. It's a treble in all. Ten years after United's own and Guardiola has had a fantastic first season. Victory for him against the veteran manager. For Manchester United, it is Arrivederci in Roma to their Champions League crown, a second success.